Dave here at Russo's RV Center in beautiful downtown Lakeville, Massachusetts on this January 2021 day. Today we're going to be looking at the 2021 Rockwood Roo 235S. This is our most popular Roo. This has been the most uh, popular Roo on our lot for the last two years actually. Outselling the 19 Roo and the smaller even the 21, um, this is this has been the one. I think you're gonna understand why when we go inside between the outside kitchen and the theater seats, awesome entertainment center. This is a luxury hybrid. It's a beautiful floor plan, huge super slide. So let's check it out. Let's go start with the outside. We already got the canvas bunks open. In another video that we did, I think it was on the 21SS about two months ago, we had some uh, an illustration of setting up the, the canvases. It's really quick. It takes about a minute or less. Everything on the outside, it's already connected. You don't have to set any bars underneath. You don't have to button anything. You don't have to zip anything outside. Very easy. <clears throat> it's just held up by cables. And it's level and set up when the camper's level, the bed is level. So one thing that we're noticing, the Rockwoods are coming in, they've always had the dry weight. This one's 56, 56, but now they're adding the total length. So 24 foot, 10 inches, that's uh, the tip of the hitch to the, to the bumper. Something that's uh, actually really important to point out on this Roo before we go any further, the, the Roos, just like the Geo Pros now, the roos are going to be standard, standard white exterior, standard interior colors, standard furniture. So what you see, the colors and, and the canvas and just how everything appears, it's going to be the same. Whether you're getting a 19 roo, a 233S, a 21SS, it's going to look the same on the outside. It's going to look the same on the inside. There is no um, color interior options like on the minis, the ultras, signatures, the other Rockwoods. So with the Roo, you get the two 20 pound bottles, standard power front jack, battery box that fits two, disconnect switch underneath. You can see the super slide. And with Rockwood, it's nice they add You've got the side window that opens up. It's not just a window, it actually opens up so you get some extra cross ventilation. Gas electric water heater. Goodyear Endurance tires, standard, just like on the other Rockwoods. You see the gray tank on the left, black tank on the right. Easy access to the sewer. Outside shower in the corner and your water hookups right in the corner next to the electrical outlet not under it which is nice to the side and i definitely prefer that to having it right under it so city water tank flush fantastic feature oh just hit the camera tank flush and then uh, antifreeze for easy winterization now there is a uh, this little compartment but it's not really it's actually locked this will be an opportunity. So as a dealer, I have a master key. The master key can open up the master key-like lock. Just like a dealer can open up the, the master, um, the door handle on any unit. The deadbolt is the more secure lock. And then you can access the pump and the filter right there. But there is some storage and you can access can access it from the inside over there. On a Roo, probably, you know, the biggest thing that you're lacking in really any Roo is going to be outside storage. There's just not nearly as much outside storage space as a lot of other travel trailers. But this model particularly has a lot of inside space, good cabinet space. So this is the receiver hitch, 300 pounds rated for. So bike carrier or storage rack spare tire standard more eye steps 
These are the new and improved Moride steps, very easy to set up. You don't have to pull any pins out, you just have to pull the legs down until they're in the right spot and they lock in themselves. And super easy to lift up and in. You get the power awning, comes out eight feet. Extend it all the way here with the awning light. The awning light is an LED strip, super bright at night, especially with the white exterior and the fiberglass. It's gonna bounce off that fiberglass. It's gonna look great. Again, these graphics, these are standard for the 2021s. This is how they're gonna look going forward. Outside kitchen, you have a two burner cooktop, which is a propane gas. The line hooks up underneath, goes in there. The griddle, which mounts on the side of the camper, actually mounts right there. And you got the little bit of storage. The outside fridge is an electric fridge. Great for drinks. So it is a pass-through, it's a small pass-through and you can access it from the inside as well. Actually on the end there, that looks like the inverter. Now this particular one we ordered with the 12 volt fridge, which you'll see inside and uh, inverter. When you get the 12 volt fridge, you get the 190 watt solar and the 1000 watt inverter that comes with it as a package. And of course the handles crank handles to bring the slide room in if you had to manually bring it in. Also the crank handles for the stabilizers, but um, <clears throat> and in the bag you got the 30 amp, 25 foot cord. All right, so that's uh, pretty much the outside. You do have outside speakers standard and then there is a spot for the TV to mount. Although the one that's in there wouldn't be the one you'd, you'd get an additional TV, uh, get the right kind of mount to put it on there. All right, let's head inside. All right, so here we are inside the 235S. So this is standard with the Newport Ash interior. This um, lighter color in the mini lights and the ultra lights and the signatures, Newport Ash is the lighter option. You can also go with slate wood, but in the Rue, it's just the standard Newport Ash. Countertops are gonna be the same, the solid countertops. The flooring is going to be the same and all the roofs, that kind of design. And then the furniture, it's the stone. They call it Xander stone, which is a little bit different than, a um, little bit different color than just the regular stone interior that they had. But it's very similar. I like this for storage. You can also remove those shelves, the top, the top shelves, to give you more space to hang clothes. One thing I think is great in this model, so you got the nice big TV across from the theater seats. Not only that, you also have that electric fireplace that does blow hot air. It's like an electric uh, space heater. So the TV with a DVD player right there. But behind the TV, look at that storage. And you can hang clothes. There's also the shelf. So if you have a PlayStation or Blu-ray players, anything like that, just storage in general, tons of space back there. So in a room, you know, storage is really important, just like any camper. But, um, there we go. I want to make the most of it. A little bit above the mesh. And just like in pop-ups here, you got the, that, for storage, I'd say soft items, certainly. You don't want to put anything hard and heavy above there. We actually have it set up right now with the heated mattress controls on. So you just plug in to an outlet, plug in to the end, I could feel it actually. A little bit of heat coming through there. You can unzip those side panels, get some nice airflow. Of course, it's 40 degrees out right now, so definitely don't want to do that right now, but um, 
you do have the option fan and light so each end comes with the fan so i mentioned that this one we got with the 12 volt fridge and the solar on the roof the 190 watt solar 12 volt fridge is almost 11 cubic feet i think it's 10 it's like 10.7 cubic feet but the 12 volt fridge is nice because it gets colder faster than the gas electric about an hour and a half two hours they say to get cold and while it's getting cold it uses about five amps and then goes down to one once it gets cold so it's not a huge energy hog especially with the solar recharging your batteries so the oven is standard three burner cooked up stainless steel sink two-sided rear bed a little bit more privacy it's kind of tucked away and you do have the option if you want to add a TV to this rear bed you can mount it on the wall they got the hookups there a little more storage these are queen 60 by 80 mattresses so not really much in terms of counter space in the bathroom that's usually the case and in RVs, but you do have the, the top shelf and a little bit around the count, uh, around the sink. Toilet. Certainly you got some uh, decent leg room in here. And then you close the door, sitting down. I got plenty of space for me, front and sides. corner shower with a solid door. It's got the magnet strip that holds it shut, but you can also easily open it up with the shower miser. Tall people, stick your heads in the skylight. And more storage. These are tall storage compartments, storage um, cabinets. So in a room, you have not only the max air fan with the cover in the bathroom, you also have a second max air fan towards the front. Because they want you to be able to circulate that air. You don't want any condensation developing on the canvases. And the canvases come with a five-year warranty. And that warranty applies pretty much to the stitching, um, which is really the most important thing anyway. I mean, there's a lot of pressure on the corners. If, over the years, if, if there's going to be any kind of issue with the canvas, usually it's going to show up in the form of the stitching in the corners. It's pretty rare, but it, you know, it can happen, and we've seen it. So as long as it's within that five-year period, we just uh, send it in. They either restitch it or send in new canvas. So all these windows open up. These are the new theater seats. So you got the side storage. You do have... A little bit there, but that's mostly about the uh, the plug and the USB ports. Two cup holders. And best part is really the fact that you got footrest and you can recline far back with a nice view of the TV. And the new theater seats have lumbar support. So you just press the button I'm feeling it inflate right now in my lower back. So you have a little bit extra support. Now I just want to show you the, the new system where you can install an app on your phone. You can control the lights and the slide and the awning and the We RV app. This is the first time I had tried out this app. So I was actually setting it up for the first time. So it just takes you through uh, these pages where you select the type of unit you have. So it was a 2021 uh, Rockwood Rue 235S. Once you confirm that, then you're good to set up a pin. And I was really impressed. I thought this was just gonna be controlling the slides and the lights and the, I didn't realize there was um, resources here, like 
information manual on the unit and like PDF manuals how-to videos but yeah this is the the general manual that would come with the unit it would be in the bag when you purchase the unit and now it is readily available on this app on your phone I love that there's like frequently asked questions information on water heater bypass winterization gas tanks the gas system I just think um, what an awesome resource to have right on your phone and then the checklist for every time you hook up to the unit and you're going to tow it down the road and then like monthly checklist six month checklist so once I checked that out and there's more to it I decided to try out the awning plus and minus so pluses extend minuses retract in it it, there really wasn't any lag. I was surprised. I pressed the button, the awning immediately goes out or comes in, the lights immediately turn on or off. So you're sitting under the awning at dusk and you decide, oh, I'll put the lights on. You just press the button on your phone and the lights turn on. So pretty cool. I think I'm impressed with the app. I wasn't sure what to expect, but it exceeded my expectations and bringing the slide room too. So I definitely recommend that when if you do purchase a Rockwood, get the app. With the slide room in, you can still access the refrigerator. You can still get into the front bed if you were to put it out in the rear bed. That doesn't interfere at all. So you pretty much get to everything. The bathroom doesn't cut off anything, certainly. So not much in terms of um, limitations when the slide room is in. You can't get to some of the storage, that front storage cabinet, but you can get to the front from the outside. This cabinet here, you can't get to really. That's pretty much it. So slide room, even though it's a big slide room, really doesn't cut off much of anything when the slide's in. So you can check out this 235S Rue at Russo's RV Center in Lakeville, Mass. Happy New Year and happy camping in 2021.